You want to pick out your diaper? No. Oh, no diaper change? the weekend vlog today is saturday i did i am starting the vlog a little bit later in the day than usual right now it is just about 12 o'clock i just put the boys down for a nap and i'm going to make myself some lunch i just toasted a bagel and i want to make some egg salad for that and harris is actually getting ready to head out with some of his friends into the city and so he's going to be out for most of the day today and like into the night in through like bedtime and all that kind of stuff so i figured today i would take you guys along for a solo saturday i don't know if you can hear them the boys are still up up there they're trying to fall asleep um but I figured I would take you guys along for a solo Saturday. We really don't have too much planned, but I've mentioned it before wanting to do a solo nighttime routine with you guys, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. So I figured tonight I would kind of run through our solo nighttime routine with you guys. Um, we might go to Target when the boys wake up to just walk around. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them today. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to brunch with my friends Casey and Julia. So at least Harris and I are both getting a little outing with our friends. He's going out today. I'm going out tomorrow. I think he's going to take the boys to his parents' house tomorrow so that I can have um, most of the day to like hang out with my friends and not have to worry about coming home to them. So that is what we have going on for this weekend. Right now I'm going to eat something. I am starving. So I'm going to make myself some lunch and then Harris should be leaving like within the hour. And after I eat, I do want to put my self tanner on. I am very pale right now. I actually didn't self tan last week just because I didn't have too much going on and I kind of didn't feel like doing it but because I'm going out with my friends tomorrow I wanted to put some self tanner on so I mentioned over on my Instagram the product that I've been using and I said I was going to like update you guys on how I liked it since I never really self tan much before the past few months and so I'm kind of easing into it so I figured I would share that with you guys after I eat some lunch but other than that not too much going on we'll see what the weekend holds I hope these boys doze soon they were very riled up before nap time they were playing with Harris in the bedroom while I folded laundry and got their room ready for their nap so they were very riled up I can still hear them up there they've been up there for like 10 minutes so I'm hoping they doze soon okay Harris just left with his friend his friend came over so that they could drive into the city together I just ate some lunch and now I'm going to quickly self tan and I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing I think two maybe even three months ago I first shared a picture of this this is the tanologist express tan self tanning mousse in dark I've talked about their self tanning drops face and body drops quite a few times on my channel and I actually tried to self tan my entire body using these back for a wedding I think that was the first time I tried to do it in October and I have to say I love these for the face they are very easy for the face because you just take a little dab of your moisturizer put a few drops and put it on your face but doing your whole body like that I feel like you use a lot more product you use a lot of moisturizer and it's kind of hard to get the exact level of tan on every part of your body you have to be like very precise with it and I also felt like it didn't get too dark considering this is the color medium so I feel like I didn't like it for my body I still love it for my face I do this on my face neck and chest every like three or so days I just didn't do it the other day I completely forgot I fell asleep I like to do it before I go to bed 
but I picked this up to give this a go. This is a very user-friendly, beginner-friendly self-tanning mousse. It doesn't have a color guard, so it's completely clear when you put it on, which I kind of like because there isn't a whole lot of transfer onto like your clothes or anything. And I do have white sheets, as you can see, and my sheets don't get too dirty. I've never slept in this. I typically put it on while the boys are down for a nap around like 12-ish, 1-ish. And then I'll wash it off when Harris gets home from work anywhere between like 4 and 6 o'clock. So it's on for anywhere from 4 to 6 hours and I feel like I get a good level of tan. I do find that even though I wash it off before I go to bed, the next morning I'll wake up and I'll actually develop even more and I'll have a really nice glow to me. It's not the darkest tan ever. It's not going to be like the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express, which I really want to try, but that's like a very deep tan. It's not like the Saint Tropez or anything. I feel like it's a great beginner tan. It's very like user-friendly to use because there's no color guard. It dries pretty fast. I still put my robe on after and wear that for about an hour if I can, um, just so my clothes don't leave any creases, but I think it would be fine. It dries within like 10-ish minutes of putting it on. I've never had an issue with it being sticky. It does have like a slight scent, but I've never really smelled other self tans, so I can't compare. But all in all, I love this stuff. I definitely want to try other self-tanning mousses and like darker ones and become more versed in like self-tanning because I do really enjoy it. So this is what I use. I also use a um, Tanologist Mid. I got both of these from Ulta. I almost said Sephora from Ulta. I think you can also get it at Target. That's where I got the drops the first time. I definitely need to pick up a new mitt. You can see which side I use the most. And I do my whole body by myself. I usually put the mitt on a hanger to get the back of me but it's super easy to blend out, super easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this on and then sit and wait for the boys to get up. And then once they get up, I'll kind of come up with a game plan. Like I said, I think I wanna to go to Target to just like get out of the house and walk around for a little bit, but I'm not too sure like when we're gonna go or anything like that. So I will update you guys in a little bit. I do quickly want to show you guys like a before of what I look like without the tanner on. So like this is what my stomach looks like my arms my face actually my face and my neck i'm not gonna do until um tonight i like to put the face and body drops on my face before i go to bed or like later in the afternoon since you do have to wash this tan off but i don't wash the face and body drops off so my face and neck are going to be white still um later on when i show you guys how the tan develops but this is what the before is going to be and then i will show you guys um before I wash it off tonight where it's developed to. What do you got? What do you got? Tea. Two what? Tea. Two gummies? What do you got? Hey, you. how many are you trying to put in your mouth? What do you got? Gummies, the boys are up now. They're having a snack. It's I think like 2.30. So when they're done with their snack, I'm going to get their pants on, orange, I'm going to get their pants on, shoes on, sweatshirts on, and we're going to head out to Target. You want to go to Target with mommy? Yep. Want to go to Target? Yes? Okay. What? What? Okay, we are back from Target. I just literally just walked in the door. The boys both requested some snacks, but that was a complete fail. What, baby? That was a complete fail of a trip to Target. What? What are you doing? One more? Yeah. Okay, get mommy your cuppy and I'll give you some more. So there were two things that I went to Target for, two things I had in mind, both of which we left without. One of the things was a two-piece stars above linen pajama set, actually, that I've seen all over TikTok, and girls have been wearing it as, like, a cover-up or just really cute loungewear. It's so cute. It, it comes in white. It comes in black. I, I was obsessed with this. And I definitely should have went to Target two weeks ago when I first saw it surfacing on 
um, TikTok, but I didn't. At the time, I thought it was sold online as well, but it's not. It's only sold in stores. And so for that reason, I definitely waited way too long and there were like four pairs of shorts left, all of which were not my size, except the yellow pair, but I didn't want yellow. I wanted the white or the black and I wanted the matching shirt, but the matching shirts were all sold out. So left without that. And then I did want to pick up some more of the boys Crayola. It's like colored bath soap slash finger paint. I will throw a picture up here of what I'm talking about. We have the purple and the yellow and I wanted to get more of the colors and it's usually found in the Target dollar section, but it wasn't there. Um, there was a lot of like Easter stuff there. So I'm hoping maybe after Easter, they will put it up again. Hey, you have sneakies on. You need to take your sneakers off to go on the couch, baby. So I'm hoping maybe after Easter, they will put it back out. But that was a complete fail. I guess it's like good for my wallet that I didn't buy anything. Um, but yeah, we killed about an hour. We are home now. We have nothing going on until I have to do like dinner and everything like that. So we are just going to hang out and then I will catch up with you guys later on and I'll kind of run through how I do bedtime alone. Okay, so the boys just ate some dinner. They had some leftover cauliflower mac and cheese from yesterday, some avocado, and they're now having some dessert. They're having a, um, what is it called? Reese's, like, egg, the ones that they sell for Easter. They were buy one, get one free, like a little bag of them at CVS the other day. So I picked those up. So they're each having one of those as their dessert. And I am going to run through their nighttime routine soon. It's, I think, like 5.30ish now. Um, so usually we head upstairs around six and start their nighttime routine. I think I'm going to take clips of it and then explain in a voiceover what I'm doing just because I feel like from Benny, stop throwing the bus, please. He's hit me with that bus twice today. Um, I think, what was I saying? Oh, from like five o'clock on, it's pretty hectic right now. They're actually being really good. Um, but usually when we head upstairs for the bedtime routine, it gets a little bit hectic to get them dressed and everything like that. So for your guys' sanity and not having to hear them whine and complain, probably I'm going to do a voiceover with some music and insert, you know, our voices and whatever in the clips if they're not screaming. So I hope that made sense what I'm going to do, but you guys will see. So yeah, we'll head up soon and I will run through their little nighttime routine. It's pretty much the same as solo nighttime routine from when Harris is here, when he's not here. The only thing that is different is the cleaning. Normally, I do do bedtime routine, like brushing their teeth, getting them dressed, all that kind of stuff myself. Um, and Harris is the one who cleans up. That's his little to-do. So I'll have to go ahead and clean the living room. Are you okay? Okay, let's slow down for a second. Slow down. You Okay. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to have to go ahead and clean the living room and clean up from like the day, everything that's in the kitchen. I didn't do that when the boys woke up from their nap or like during their nap. So I have to clean up the entire kitchen and the living room, which I will do after they go to bed. But you guys will see their little nighttime routine. Okay, I forgot to hit record on my camera. I was going to black, yeah. Oh, you want me to clean your doggy too? I was going to take a time lapse of me cleaning up the kitchen, but the boys wanted to color on their iPad. So I took the opportunity while they were entertained to clean up the kitchen from the day. I loaded the dishwasher. I washed whatever was in the sink. I wiped down the counters. So the kitchen is now cleaned. After the kitchen was all cleaned, I went inside and started to clean up the living room while the boys played on their iPads. And halfway through me doing that, they actually joined in. So they were able to help me clean up all their toys. By six o'clock, I grabbed their sippy cups and we all headed upstairs. One of the first things the boys do when we get upstairs is usually ask me to turn the light on. Please excuse my very dirty light. I didn't realize how gross that was. And they will usually go in their room and grab any number of their blankets or stuffed animals and bring those in my room to play with as well. Usually around 6.15 is when we will go in their room and get them in their jammies. On this night, the boys had picked out their Mickey Mouse jammies to wear. So I had those already laid out and then it was time to get them dressed. This is usually a little bit of a battle. But after some convincing, I was able to get them dressed. Yeah. Yeah. 
once they're in their jammies I like to have them help me clean up their diapers and clean up their room and then after this we did head downstairs Ben has been on an antibiotic for the past few days for a cough that he had a cold that we all had he's been on an antibiotic for that and whenever he has to take his medicine Jack usually wants some as well so I've been tricking Jack and giving him some apple juice in a syringe for him to think that he's also taking the antibiotic when he is not and just Ben is Once they're done taking that, we then went back upstairs so that I could go ahead and brush their teeth. The boys like to start out brushing their teeth on their own. I use this Crest Kids toothpaste, just like a pea sized amount, and they will usually start on their own, and then I will go in and try and finish up brushing their teeth, making sure every tooth gets hit, but they will usually run away from me during this. By 6.45, we are heading into their room to get them into bed. The boys have really been liking helping me with bedtime routine. So on this night, Ben wanted to turn the light off, Jack wanted to do the fan, and then usually they both will fight over the sound machine and I will try and get them both to help me with that before I get them into bed. After some convincing and a little bit of wrestling, I am able to get the boys into their sleep sacks and start the long process of saying goodnight. It usually is filled with lots of kisses, lots of back and forth, and then I'm finally able to get them off to bed. Okay, the boys are in bed. You probably can hear them jumping. I ordered myself some sushi that is going to be here in like the next 10 minutes. So I want to jump in quickly and rinse my tan off. I wanted to show you guys where it's at. I put it on around, I think it was like one o'clock today and it's now 6.45. So 
six-ish hours with the tan on. I want to show you guys where it's at. And then I'm going to put the tan drops on my face when I'm done rinsing this one off. And then I'll give you guys like a final update tomorrow with how everything looks because I swear this tan continues to develop overnight even though I rinse it off and it always looks so perfect in the morning. So this is what my stomach is looking like. It's definitely not the darkest tan. Like I said, it's a very natural, easy to work with tan. Do you hear that? That's Ben slamming his body against his crib and it makes it lift off the floor and slam down like that. He's been doing that for like a few weeks now at this point and I have no idea how to get him to stop doing that. So if you hear very loud banging, that's what that is. That wakes me up almost every single morning now, which is terrible. But this is what my stomach is looking like. It's definitely a very natural golden glow. And then this is what my arms are looking like. I can always tell the tan is developing because the inside of my arms get tan and they're never really that tan. It also doesn't cling on to my eczema. I do have a dry patch on my arm right here and you can see how it kind of clung to it just very lightly. Um, right there, but you can see it's just a very natural, warm, like orangey red glow. Not that it's an orange tan at all. It's not like a horrible orange spray tan, but it is a bit on the warmer side. It definitely doesn't have like purple undertones or like green undertones. I definitely think it's more on the warm side. So I'm going to quickly jump in, rinse this off, eat my dinner, relax in bed, and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is now Sunday. I think it's like maybe almost nine o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and start getting myself ready. My friends, Casey and Julia, are going to be by me around 11, but I'm going to help Harris get the boys dressed and get them out of the house in a little bit. So I want to sit quickly and do my makeup and my hair, and then I'll get dressed like closer to when the girls are going to pick me up. Before I go ahead and do my makeup, I wanted to give you guys like a final update on my tan. You guys can kind of see where my face is at. It is definitely like a very light natural glow. I only did about five-ish drops of <clears throat> the Tanologist tan drops in my lotion last night. I used to do like a full um, like syringe of it. Um, like a full dropper of it and it definitely used to be it would get like a lot darker than this but I wanted to do a pretty light amount so I did about like five or six drops in my moisturizer and then my tan did develop I feel like a little bit more overnight so I wanted to show you guys where it's at so this is my stomach and then this is my arms I didn't put a lot on my legs just because I'm wearing pants and it really didn't matter um that my legs were super tan but let's see if I can Pull them up and show you guys i also always forget to do my feet so my feet are still extremely white but that is where my tan is at i'm going to go and do my makeup and then i will check in with you guys in a little bit okay i just got harris and the boys out of the house there was a nice double major meltdown trying to get the boys dressed and out of the house so that is why i didn't take any clips of that but they're off to Harris's parents' house. I'm done with my hair and my makeup. I'm not going to get dressed yet. I'm going to wait until the girls are just about here. But I wanted to show you guys what I plan on wearing today as well as some other new pieces I got in from Shein. This is the shirt that I'm going to wear today. It's like a royal blue bustier style top. These tops are really big right now. There's an Urban Outfitters one that I really, really want, but it's a little bit on the more expensive side. And then I saw this one on Shein and I fell in love with it. I think it comes in like five or so different colors, but I got this really pretty royal blue and it has these ribbon tie straps. It is a little see-through on the bust portion, but I have some nipple covers I'm going to wear underneath this and then I'm going to wear my oversized leather jacket on top. I'm going to wear this with some blue jeans and either my platform converse or my target um, dupe Doc Martens to make it a little bit more casual but I think this is going to be so cute with the outfit that I've planned. I'll show you guys once I have it on and then I picked up a few other basics. I love Shein for their basics. I originally got this order in with the stuff that I shared like two weeks ago that I got in for the boys. I ordered all of this stuff after I filmed my spring 
huge Shein haul since I had gotten two of these high neck bodysuits and I fell in love with them. I wanted to go on Shein and order some more. So I got two more of their high neck bodysuits. These are very similar colors. I think this bodysuit comes in like 20 different colors. I don't know why I got two very similar ones, but they are good basic colors. This one's like a light blue gray and this is a darker blue gray. And then I got this nude square neck style that I haven't tried yet, but it is the same thick material, the like skim stoop material that these ones are. And I absolutely love the way these feel and fit so I got a square neck one I got this really basic baby tee it's like a baseball tee but I loved the muted green and beige color palette so I got this I picked up a loungewear set this is just like a black kind of crop t-shirt with long black loungewear pants to wear around the house and then I picked this up the skims unitard romper is super big right now and I really want that one but again that one is a bit more on the more expensive side so I picked up this one from Shein just to make sure I like the silhouette on my body and try and style it a few ways to see if I'll actually get use out of the skims one before I try and place an order once those come back into stock so this is just a black unitard romper i will put the little pictures up of everything that i got on the screen you guys will see so you can see the SKU number and the name of everything over on Shein. and then i did get a pack of like ankle white socks but i've been wearing those and they're like scattered all around the house so i don't have those to show you guys but i'll throw the picture up here of those so i'm going to clean up all my makeup now clean up my bathroom i did my hair in there and then like i said i'll get dressed before the girls get here and i'll show you guys my final outfit Okay, I don't have my shoes and my jacket on, but I wanted to show you guys what the bustier looks like on. I do have nipple covers on, so that's what you're seeing there. But this is it on. I wore these more like mid-ish rise jeans that are actually pretty loose so that the bustier could like sit inside of it like this, if that makes sense. These are from the Walmart men's section, and then I have yet to figure out what shoes I want to wear. I think I might just go with my platform Converse. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I should do those or my Doc Martin dupes. I feel like the Doc Martin dupes will be like a little bit more edgy against the like daintiness of the top. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But I'm going to actually head out to the place now to put our names down. They don't take reservations. So I want to go put our names down. The girls are on their way here so that by the time they get here, we can go and be seated just because this place there's usually a bit of a long wait. My friend Casey and I actually went exactly one year ago today. We had to wait an hour. So the smart idea is to go put our names down. I live like five minutes from the place. So I'm gonna go do that and then come back here and wait for the girls. I can actually vlog seven because into my comfy clothes you can hear the boys downstairs with Harris they did not nap today unfortunately he went to his sister's house and then tried to drive back here and have them nap here but they didn't want to nap so I'm going to go ahead and close out today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed I will have all the live links the short links for the clothes I shared from Shein earlier I will have those down below as well as my active coupon code with them I forgot to mention that earlier um, all that will be in the description box so if you guys see something and you want something or you want money off your Shein order all that stuff will be linked down below but I hope you guys had an amazing weekend my weekend was pretty busy but I had a lot of fun today with my friends um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a few snippets from brunch but with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.